Some Atlantic City casinos are banning cigars 15 feet from bars. Is this a good idea? You can't smoke them if you got them with the debate on the brew. Big breakthrough here on the East Coast where Atlantic City casinos have banned cigar smoking within 15 feet of any bar. Now most casinos have been pushing for that, it's a union thing. What do you think about that there in Vegas because it's going to be hard to ban smoking like that in a Vegas casino. Vegas caters to the customer, so there's still a ton of people that are used to smoking in casinos, a lot of older clientele do. Uh, I think that you should just have your own designated bars for cigars. Cause I'm not saying people shouldn't be able to do it, but you everybody can smell it, and it makes a lot of people sick, including me. I really don't like the smell. If I'm there and someone's smoking a cigar anywhere near me and I can smell it, I'm going to pay my tab and leave. Yeah, I mean, that's the one thing. The problem is with cigar smoke, it permeates and floats further away from you more than cigarette smoke does. None of them are good, let's be honest here. They all are terrible. If you're not a non-smoker, you don't want that shit near you anywhere. And I understand smoking casinos go together. You can't smoke pot in a casino, but cigar smoke really wafts. It, and you gotta be somewhat conscious too. If, you're looking, look, if you sit down at the bar and you wanna smoke a cigar and there's 20 people at that bar and they're not smoking, they probably don't want to smell your smoke. And definitely the amount of smokers in the world now is becoming a less and less percentage because let's be honest, they're dying off. Smoking's a dying thing. Yeah, at least smoking cigars and cigarettes is, uh, not weed. <laughs> well, that's, that's, it. that's a completely different subject there. We'll touch on that in a minute. But how many times like that, how we, you and I have sat at bars there in Vegas and just been having a conversation, enjoying ourselves, and somebody sits down and lights up a stogie, and it just ruins the whole time. It ruins it for everybody else just because one person comes in, it's like, oh, now they want to participate in that activity. Yeah, the world doesn't, I know I've said this on the show about plenty of different subjects, but we're talking about people that are entitled, and the world doesn't revolve around you. That's the bottom line. Like... You're affecting other people. If it's if it's something you want to do and it just affects you, go for it. But not when it affects me and Joe and whoever else is around. It's clear that, look, Joe and I are not on board with this. I can't stand smoking at all. I don't like anywhere near me, not anything. It's it's a nasty habit, it's a bad habit. But I, again, you know, casinos and smoking have been you know together for so many years, but that culture is changing. And here's why. In New Jersey, the unions actually, the Food and Beverage Servers Union, put in their contract that we don't want to have our employees inhale cigar smoke all the time. So when you walk up to that bar now in Atlantic City, you can, you can still smoke cigarettes, you can't smoke pot at all, but your cigars, 15 feet away, and you have to take it near the slot machines. And then casino floors even make in the area where you can smoke even smaller. So take the hint, it's, a, it's definitely a, it's a thing that's going away. Yeah, we're kind of like in the, it's a mall stage. Like it still exists, but it's just like you said, it's going away slowly but surely. Well, our viewers have some comments about that, and we'll touch on the history about this ban here in just a second. But what do you guys think? So is this cigar ban within 15 feet of bars a thing? Is it stupid? What do you think? Let's find out. Milsey says, all smoking should be banned indoors like in Europe. Not fair on employees. Starman, smoke outside. Everything. Cigarettes, weed, cigars. Don't force others to inhale your stench. Well, that comes back. I guess that's now we're opening up to a bigger thing than just cigars in general. But you can't smoke weed. So, you know, it's just one more thing they're kind of clamping down on. If you're outside, it's, you know, it's a lot easier to be further away and you're not putting someone else's health at risk, that employees long-term risk um, by being, but, because they can't leave, you know? Out, if you're outside, you can move, you can go in your own little area and be fine. Let's just chat about a little bit of history here in New Jersey about smoking for just a second and how this ban came to be. Back in 2006, New Jersey banned smoking in any indoor establishment everywhere across the state's flag, including casinos. Now, the Atlantic City casinos threw a titty fit. Oh, we're losing people because of the smoking. We need to get it back. But they got their ban back, so you're allowed to smoke on 25% of the casino floor. But this whole thing with the union right has happened this year. Now, let me give you a side note here. The state of New York, right next door here, you cannot smoke in any of the state-owned casinos. The Indian ones you can, but the state-owned one, like the Empire City right here in New York City or the Resorts World, you're not smoking there. You have to go outside. And one other point that I want to bring up, I've been to states where they've banned it. I've been to casinos in Colorado, down in New Orleans at the south, they chain smoke left and right down there. But you can't in the casino. They built what works for everybody, smoking patios. They're literally outside little rooms, heated. There are tons of slot machines in there, electronic table games. Some even have table games, perhaps even bar service and whatever. So you go in these little rooms and smoke. They're heated so you can go out there in December, January and not freeze, and everybody's happy. So the casino, you can smoke you know, out in these little patios. Doesn't bother the non-smokers on the casino floor. There's a way to make this work, but they're so scared that they're gonna lose their clientele over this, uh, the money with the smoking thing. So Joe, you're pro-segregation. 
In this case, yes, I guess I have to say yes, because <laughs> being in the New York metro area where you don't have to worry about wearing a separate set of clothes to go out to a bar or a restaurant or anything anymore and come home reeking of that stench, it's kind of nice. That's why cigar bars are nice. I think casinos should have cigar bars. They should have them video poker. Let, let the, if they want to gamble these little areas, by all means, it should be available. It's not a hard thing to do. It's just they're so scared to make these changes. And one other thing I did some research, the Press of Atlantic City did a poll. They went to Philly and asked people living in Philly, would you go to Atlantic City casinos more if smoking was banned? And they found out that more people said yes, they'd rather go to a smoke-free casino than a smoky casino, like the Pennsylvania ones. You can't smoke in most of those either. So it's a thing, and that's my point. Okay, yeah, I believe you. I mean, every little place is going to have its own rules when it really should just be one universal thing. This is like one of those things that should be universally understood. Like, not... New Jersey versus New York versus Pennsylvania versus Nevada versus the South versus California. Like just, no, just one rule. And that's what Joe said earlier. Yeah. Like everybody has their own little area and they can mind their own business. Yeah. Now from a, uh, an employee standpoint, I guess one thing that probably just to put the point on the smoker side, I don't want to beat up on them. It's not fair. They have the right to smoke too. But as an employee of a casino, you kind of know you're going to an environment where there's going to be smoke. When you sign the dial and take that job, you should know that that's something that's gonna come. It's like working in a coal mine. You're probably gonna get black lung. Like there's different, there's certain little things that you need to be prepared with. Now, by all means, their health and safety is important too and good for them for their union to negotiate this. But you know, it's, you gotta give the other side respect too that it is part of the job. Yeah, sure. I mean, or you could just hire employees for that section of the casino that already smoke. Yeah, or you know, just like we said, you know, segregate it, wall it off, make it two different parts. Everybody wins in that point. There's an easy solution to this sometimes, and I know the whole smoking thing is a bigger problem, just cigars, but it's kind of impressive this little baby step that's even happening to get it to that point. And we still got a couple more comments to get through, so let's get to them real quick, because Scooters McGavin says, in places where there are already smoking bars, this is no issue. In places where no such ban exists, this would not fly. And finally, Matt Treat says, I think smoking should be banned in every public place. It's so nice going to casinos in Canada, because it's banned. Vegas casinos claim it would be hard for them to enforce and would hurt their business, specifically international tourists, but it won't. You can even add smoking lounges that have a separate filtration system. So once again, like we said, just the solution there, smoking lounges. The McCarran Airport there, Harry Reid Airport used to have those before. You'd go in there and smoke. Yeah, sign of the times. All right, so anyway, if you have more comments this one, because it's definitely a two-sided issue, it's a hot button topic here in the East Coast. That's why I wanted to bring it up for this episode of The Brew. And you'll see more by clicking on the like, subscribe button, follow the fun here on the big Jersey Joe 50 YouTube channel. Lots more fun, crazy topics waiting for you here every week. And I know we didn't solve an issue on this one. It's just a, it's something to chat about. There's no right or wrong answer to it. I guess that's the other problem this one. It's an opinion. But you know what it comes down to at the end of the line, Joel. It's the almighty dollar and who makes more work. I think in 100 years, the opinion will be a lot more even on this. Maybe 200 years. A lot more people will probably be agreeing with what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, look at it this way. I grew up in the age where McDonald's had ashtrays in the tables. I mean, you would see your parents go there and have your hamburger, your parents chain smoking away. I mean, so... Trying to, trying to age yourself up right now. <laughs> the 80s, man, I mean, but it could happen. But, uh, you know, you can't smoke weed in there, so why are they allowing cigars? I don't know. Bigger subject to be continued, but put your comments down below, and uh, hey, join our conversation. All right, well, thanks for all your great, great answers, Jersey Joe and I, and we'll see you next time, I hope. 20 Funny, Weird, and Strange New York Laws. Streaming now on Kicking Back with Jersey Joe.